You know me, SDMT. Big news right here. James Harrison is a New England Patriot, man. Huge move by the Patriots. Going into the playoffs, picking up Debo. That should be huge for their pass rush and also intimidation. We know he be going hard in the gym. The grind way. Don't nobody go harder than James Harrison. Debo is the truth in that gym. He's my inspiration. He be going hard. I'm just letting you know. But um, this is a huge move right here. And the story has really developed. It seemed like the Steelers let James Harrison go. Um, and they're going to pick him up after he cleared waivers. But more to this story has developed. And it seems like James Harrison wanted a way out. And he wanted to get out of Pittsburgh because he wasn't playing and they weren't using him. So uh, maybe he'd start to become a distraction and uh, maybe he pressed ownership and they released him. That was pretty much what a lot of the Steelers locker room is saying what happened that he wanted out. Don't blame the Steelers for, for releasing um, you know, him being a huge figure in Pittsburgh that he actually wanted out, you know. Um, Maurice, Marquise Pouncey has had a lot to say. He's pretty much said that you know, James Harrison, everybody knew in the locker room he wanted out. And um, he just, he wanted out. And he didn't want to be a part of that team. So pretty much, you know, we don't care. Go have fun somewhere else. Um, it sounded like he was kind of hurt that, uh, you know, James Harrison didn't want to be a part of the team. And he um, pretty much said, don't blame the organization. Don't make, make the organization look bad. He wanted to leave. And he's saying that James Harrison was you know, looking like a victim. Bud Dupree said the same thing. Let's not have James Harrison look like the victim and make the Steelers look like the bad guy. He actually wanted to leave. So this is pretty much a lot what they're saying. Marquise Pouncey really went after Debo saying that he pretty much erased his whole Steeler legacy. That's crazy, man. Marquise Pouncey, you're a solid offense lineman. You're awesome, but no, bro. I'm taking Debo over you when it comes to ranking the best Steelers. I'm taking Debo right over you, so you have no say in Debo's legacy. A lot of great players go to other teams. He can still have his jersey retired, you know, after his playing career is over, which probably will happen, you know. I've been seeing a lot of goofy stuff by fans also. I hate this. It's just so lame. It's so lame when fans start burning jerseys. I'm seeing online people burning James Harrison jerseys and throwing them in the trash. Man, you spent your money on that, so you wasting your money. So that's just... It's just not the most intelligent thing to do. And um, overall, it's just it's dumb because when he comes back and retires there, what will you do then? You remember when um, remember when Brett Favre went to the Vikings and everybody was mad, but then he came back and everybody loved him again? You know what I mean? So a lot of times fans, just they just lose control and they do, uh, you know, goofy things. You know what I'm saying? So don't, don't do that. You know what I'm saying? James Harrison is a stealer. He will go down as a stealer, but he made the best move for him. So pretty much I want to get into this because things that Pouncey are saying, like, you know, that James Harrison wanted out, don't make the team look bad. And, you know, he just was trying to get a way out. He was becoming a distraction pretty much. Let's be real. We don't know what happened in those negotiations. They re-signed Debo over the offseason, um, James Harrison. So what they told him, we don't know. Now, if they told him that he was going to be on the bench and he was just going to help the other players, okay. And he didn't want to play, okay. But it seemed like James Harrison expected to play. He was going hard. He was grinding. He expected to make an impact and be a part of that defense. He wasn't. He wasn't playing. He wasn't getting a lot of reps at all. You know what I mean? They had TJ Watt some other guys making plays out there, and they pretty much you know, weren't going to use James Harrison. Earlier in the season, Mike Tomlin said they would use James Harrison as a change-up guy and they would mix him in once in a while and he was going to be a factor, but that never came. So we don't really know what was said in that meeting, but it seems like, from my intelligence, is that the Steelers pretty much told him he was going to be a factor on that defense. When James Harrison didn't get that, he, he became disgruntled. And you can't blame him for that. You can't blame him. Like, Marquise Pouncey, when his career starts tailoring down and he stops playing and the Steelers put him on a bench and, you know, he might want to go play somewhere else, you can't blame Debo for that. I can't blame him. The man wants to play football and he wants to make plays. He doesn't want to sit on the bench and be a player coach yet. He's, he's not ready to be a coach. He wants to go out there and play. And this is an awesome opportunity, him going to the Patriots, because he can get another ring. Let's be real. The Patriots are, you know what I'm saying, stacked. The AFC is tough, but... You know what I mean? The Patriots are the cream of that. And now the Steelers losing Debo. Antonio Brown's been injured. He's going to come back. 
Hopefully he's close to 100%. We don't know how he's going to come back. So the Steelers already lost to the Patriots. We'll see how that goes and how that game ends up. But we pretty much have a great idea that the Patriots will probably most likely be in the AFC Championship game. So we'll see how this continues to, to develop. You know, I think James Harrison, he just got frustrated. He was told that he was going to be a part of that defense, and he wasn't being used. He wasn't getting those opportunities. So, you know, maybe he did want out. I can't blame him for that. I can't, you can't hate on him for that. Um, they may, they might, may have made him promises that they didn't keep. So, you know, you have Bud Dupree and you have Marquise Pouncey sticking up for the Steelers organization, but they don't know what happened in those, or, in, in those um negotiations they don't know what happened so them speaking on that you know it's just it's just not fair it's not you're not getting the full truth out there so you jumping on Debo when he's leaving a lot of this wasn't said when he was there I'm sure you know what I mean when he's leave when he leaves it's easier to talk tough you know what I mean big Debo you know what I'm saying I hope he sees him on the field and they get some you know said so that respect you know what I'm saying they need because you know this is very unnecessary Debo is definitely going to go, go down as one of the best Steelers um, of all time. He's awesome. He made huge plays in that Super Bowl that they won. You know what I mean? And he's just been a solid player and he's been, you know, the, the figurehead of that defense for a long time. James Harrison was that. You thought of the Steelers defense and intimidation, you thought of James Harrison. So at this point in his career, it's, tw it's the twilight part. It's just flickering out. So he has to do his best for him. You know, we can't say that about Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice will always be a 49er, but he wouldn't played for the Raiders and the Seahawks and the Broncos and these other teams because he wanted to still play and the 49ers wanted to move on. Okay, so pretty much this whole story is developing. It's pretty crazy that it was a lot of tension in that locker room. I, when his first this story broke, we thought that they were going to um, claim him after waivers and give him a, you know, a little bit lower contract, but pretty much it was more to this story, and he wanted out, and I can't blame him for wanting to play, and he just ended up on an awesome opportunity going to the Patriots and going with Tom Brady. He actually took a picture of Tom Brady and said he finally gets to play with somebody older than him, which is, which is pretty funny, but um, we'll see how this all turns out. Drop your comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. SDMT!